Do you storyboard it? Do you outline it? How, how do you approach that? I try to let Josie figure it out. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll tell you how that works. But I'm trying my hand at a thriller. And in order to sell the thriller, my agent needs a synopsis mm -hmm. and sample pages. If you've never published a book before, you have to write the whole thing. Right. I had to write all of Consigned to Death. But now that I'm a published author, I just it sounds more manageable. 43 pages of detailed outline, detailed plotting nearly killed me to do. But you know what? When I go to write it, it's going to be so much it's easier. It's going to be so easy. So, Unless your characters decide to take it in that's a different true. place. That, and, they, and It's a woman named Dina, and she might. Wouldn't surprise me a bit. Mm -hmm. But I don't know whether I should do that in advance for the other, for this. I, I don't know. It's not my natural. Uh, I find plotting the most difficult part of writing. So what is your process? You you have a loose yes, theme? Yes, I, I know who done it and why. I know a couple of clues that are going to be planted along the way and a couple of antiques. Because Josie uses her knowledge of antiques to solve the crime, the books have been called Antiques Roadshow for Mystery Fans. I know, it's wonderful. And I love of, antiques. There's a lot of antiques lore. I know a couple of the antique connections that are going to figure in. But that's really all I know. So I start writing. I, I, I always start the book with whatever time of year it is. Mm -hmm. Book three is in winter. I started mm -hmm. in January. Mm -hmm. that, so I know that. So I, I got that. I know what's going on at work. And I, so I have a couple of references there. And then here's one of the structural things I learned. Because I'm writing what are in the cozy family, mm -hmm. they're called traditional mysteries. There's not going to be a lot of blood and guts. There's not going to be a lot of bad words. Uh, the, the convention is that the murder happens in chapter one or two. And usually off stage. In this book, it happens on stage. Right on stage. In her memory, though, it's a flashback. It's That's not right, that it you're is, there. Yep. Because she starts out in the interview right. process. But it's not that she's describing it to the police officer, which is what usually happens. Mm -hmm. It's that you're she's, seeing it. She's right. remembering right. it. Right. So I've got to get that in my head. Mm -hmm. And I write the so in other words, the first couple of chapters are in fact plotted. And then what I try to do is end my day's work where I've really boxed her into a corner. I've created a little cliffhanger and I'll sleep on it. And when I wake up in the morning, I know what's supposed to happen next.